Hi everyone, uh, I'm Sanjay and today we're gonna check out the external secret operator. Um, so uh, Kubernetes has a built-in feature for a secret management called secret, the secret object which is uh, convenient, convenient to use uh, but does not support the storing and retrieving data from any external secret management system such as a uh, Hashicorp Vault, uh, Google Secret, uh, AWS Secret Manager. It's often uh, beneficial to use a Kubernetes with an external secret service that can handle a secret management. And uh, uh, as the Kubernetes does not have this functionality and due to its limitations, I was looking for a solution, how I can do that. And I found uh, one of the open source, uh, open source solution, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which is created by GoDaddy and it's called external secret operator. Uh, so external secret operator, uh, it provides the same ease to use a native secret uh, that we usually create by uh, by creating a secret YML object and it provides access, uh, uh, which is a secret uh, access of to the secret, which is stored externally uh, to any of the secret management tool. Uh, it does by extending the Kubernetes, uh, uh, extending the Kubernetes with custom resource definition. So you'll install some custom resource definition when you are installing the external secret operator in your Kubernetes, uh, which defines where the secret live and how you can synchronize them. In a simple terms, like uh, uh, ESO makes an API call uh, to retrieve a secret data from an external secret manage secret sub service, like AWS uh, secret manager, GCP or Vault, and inject the data um, as in Kubernetes uh, secret object wherever like uh, it can be a namespace or secret is the namespace but uh, it can you can do it in a, any of the namespace so the key concept has like um, it has a it has a external secret controller which is running external secret controller um, which is running in the Kubernetes and uh, that external secret can, can uh, controller will make an API call to the external secret manager and will pull the data and will create a Kubernetes secret for you and uh, for which you need we need to create one uh, um, one secret store so secret store is a, again a custom source definition that specifies the access that needs to fetch the secret from the external api secret store take care of the authentication and the access so this will in our case will connect it to will put the details of our vault which is a rule id and a secret id and uh, it will use this uh, that to connect to the vault and will authenticate to us now external secret is another custom resource definition that specifies what secret data to fetch so and it reference the secret store uh, which we created before um, and fetch the data from the from the vault or from the secret path, whatever the secret path and we have the controller uses the external secret as a blueprint to create the secret. So this is actually our the this is actually our blueprint in that. So uh, this so this is most of the theory, um, and you can read it more on the documentation side. Um, so let's go ahead and get our hands dirty, and um, we'll do everything with the practicals. So here um, I'm going to use the Docker desktop. Uh, to install the external secret operator and we'll do the practical here so i'll use the helm install command um, to install the external secret operator here um, let's see so it will create the namespace for us um, and we'll install we will create the deployment for us for external secret um, let's wait for it to start and you can see all the steps on the medium document and on the github readme i'll add those in my description okay it's up and running um, so this is our external secret um, that i was talking about before and that's our secret store so that's our secret store. I have already installed the vault before. Check the previous video how you can install the vault and create a April and uh, April a role ID and a secret secret ID. 
so we'll refer to our local vault here uh, that's our secret id uh, let's create these objects So now we have created a vault secret, which we are referring here in the secret ref uh, for the secret ID. Now let's create the secret store, uh, which will have all the information about the vault. All right, the secret store is created. Let's check that one out. Okay, it's created and it's valid. Now uh, let's refer to that secret in the reference to that secret store and uh, create our external secret, um, which is going to create a secret for us in the Kubernetes. So here we are uh, referencing to our secret store, kind of secret store, the name of the target, it's going to create a secret with the ex resource with the example sync. Example secret. And that's a Kubernetes secret. Yes, which will be created in the Kubernetes. And the key will be created as a foobar. Uh, yeah. So let's do the apply to that. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I'm just checking the logs. It looks like uh, there is no error. It means the secret should have been created. Okay, our secret is created, which is example secret we were trying to create there. Uh, you see the key is a foobar. So it should have pulled the secret from the vault. Okay, uh, that's an example secret that we were trying to create. So we are verifying everything. So let's check the data too. Uh, if it has pulled the right data from the uh, from the vault. All right. Fubar, okay. Let's do the 64 minus D. All right, we see the bar here, and uh, that's what we had in the vault. Okay, let's check our vault. So that's our local vault on the local host. Um, I have put forward at that. I'm just gonna check my uh, token when I was creating the vault. Remember guys, you'll have to install the vault. You have to check out the previous video and install the vault before you go ahead with the external secret. Okay, so the the value we pulled is right. It means we were able to pull the value from the HashiCorp vault in using the external secret operator. Awesome. Now, um, when it's running, um, if I change any value over there in the in the vault, it should pick those values again and recreate the secret for me. Yeah, and if we create, delete the secret, it should delete the secret for me. Okay, so it has deleted the secret for us um, when I'm deleting the secret, uh, deleting the CRD for a secret store. No, the external secret. Now let's change the value and see if the value get changed automatically. Um, means it refreshes the value. So we did the bar change. It was a bar before. Now let's check again, again. 
awesome so that's a nine byte it means uh, it has changed the value to bar change now just we will we'll verify it eco base 64 all right that's a bar change so it has changed the value to bar change uh, and automatically fetch the value when there was a change into the into the vault awesome so that's what we were uh, trying to achieve now this was um, this was a namespaced object because we created a uh, secret store but uh, there is a there is a there is a um, there is another resource which is a cluster wide which we can use to create a secret in any of the namespace uh, which would be the cluster secret store so we'll see that one now so that's our uh, i moved the things around in between that's our cluster secret store um, I've created the new, we are just referencing to the same vault, uh, to the path Argo CD, same rule ID. Um, and uh, namespace is external secret. Uh, so we need to mention the namespace where our secret is stored for the secret ID. And uh, now, now we are referencing to our cluster secret store instead of the secret store. Um, when we are referencing the the secret secret store. Um, namespace is our temp test namespace. So all these things we need to mention. create the namespace first now or I'm moving the previous uh, secret store we created to the secret store and we'll go to the cluster secret store now now let's create the cluster secret store, which is a cluster level resource and which can create a secret in any of the namespace we want. So that's a new namespace, test NS we created. So this one is done. Let's create external secret uh, now, which will refer to this cluster secret store. The CRD was uh, old, so I'm gonna update it with the beta one. Okay, no, no, no warning anymore. Let's validate if our cluster secret store was created. Okay, it's created and valid. Now, let's create our external secret. CTL poem external secret. Okay, our external secret is created. Go to test NS, look for secrets. Okay, awesome. Now, why it's showing is a nine byte because we remember we changed in our vault as a bar change. So let's validate it. Awesome. Bar change. Yep, I can see that. So yeah, this was it. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, this was I wanted to cover for external secret operator. And I'll thank you.